Hello, welcome to the channel. It's Liz, also known as the girl with blue eyeshadow. For today's video, I feel like I'm very eyeshadow based on this channel. And I wanted to talk about other eye products that I use while doing my makeup, from tools to makeup techniques maybe, to even just like products like liners and mascara. I don't think I totally mentioned fully. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep on watching. I don't know, I feel like I always talk about foundation on this channel. So I was like, let me talk about foundations and eyeshadows. So I was like, let me just focus on eye products I like to use and like, I don't know, it seemed fun to me. So these are my favorite kind of eye products that are not eyeshadow. So first things first, I guess we will start out with eyeshadow primer. So my favorite eyeshadow primer, which I've mentioned multiple times, is the Wet n Wild um, Primer Focus um, eye primer. When I got this, the girl, I was, st I felt like I was stomping on the girls. I love this. <laughs> I didn't use eye primer. I used like one eye primer before by Rimmel. It didn't work for me. Um, but this, I feel like if you have super oily lids, is great. Um, and I highly recommend this. It's cheap. I remember when this was the Fergie line. Like, I've had this. I have bought this probably the most out of everything in my collection. I do also have the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I didn't really get the hype about this. I, it does help with longevity. But I feel like this works maybe better and fine. I will say, I think this works better if maybe you don't have as dry as um, eyelids as I do. I've heard this can be very drying on some people, like they have to go with the Milani one. The Milani one I don't like as much. And this is okay, I think you can buy it on sale though if you really want to get it. Because I don't think it's worth the whole $20 you have to pay for it. Um, and then another thing I wanted to mention was the NYX Glitter Glue, which is a fantastic glitter primer. It's like glitter glue. It is fantastic. It is one of my favorites. Um, you can use it for glitter, which I do sometimes, or even like messy um, shimmer shades, or even shimmer shades that are like not giving me the wow factor that I want. I can go in with this on the lid, and I feel like it really does brighten it up. I feel like I can use it as a base. Like I can kind of carve it out if I want to and make my lid look a little bigger because it's kind of you know hooded you can only see it at certain kind of angles that's sad but whatever um so this is really i like this my tip for like normal eye primers is to make sure you are blending it out like kind of as far as you can above is all you can because i find that that helps without skipping sometimes i feel like the product will just like skip over it if it's not blended all the way like the shadow so that's my little tip for eye primer but I'm an eye primer stan. People will be like, oh no, you can just use concealer. No, those people do not have oily lids like I do. And like the rest of us who are suffering, <laughs> do not buy into that. If you're someone who's like, why does not concealer work on me? It's because it don't, it's not supposed, it, that, the concealer is not doing what needs to be done. Like, yes, it'll cover up veins if that's what you want, but is it gonna make shadows stick? No, these will. Love these. Next up, I guess I'll talk about brushes. Now, the brushes I have are mostly e.l.f. So, wait, do I have any e.l.f. brushes in here? There are not any e.l.f. brushes in my current rotation of brushes, though I am. I like an e.l.f. brush, Sonia Kashuk. If you are looking for something particular and you can't find it in an e.l.f. or you find that sets often don't have them, Try the Sonia Kashuk at Target. I find that I was looking for brushes just like this and they did have them. So just kind of look around if you need to. Um, I feel like my best shader brush of all time is a Real Techniques one, it is this one. It comes in a set with this one. I find this one's good for powder concealer, but I do like using this if I'm using a shimmer that I don't want to use my fingers with. I'm usually a finger, use my finger for shadows, for shimmer shadows, I feel like I get the best payoff. Um, but if it is one of those days, this is my baby. These are the Beauty Bay ones. I think I've mentioned this before. I don't know if I can find them again. I would try to link them. I got them on sale. I've been a real fan of them. I love a brush that tapers. Oh my God, am I missing a brush? I am missing a brush. 
I have a wet and wild brush. So this used to be my like to-go brush, as you can see. I like a fluffy brush. As you can see, it's um, kind of goes out like that. And what I like about these is these are kind of rounded so I, and tapered in a way. So like they go boop and then they kind of round. And I like that because I feel like I get a little bit more control of the shadow. I'm not really in the smaller brushes. Like I like that these are like you have a, kind of the same idea but they're slightly smaller and I do like that if I'm trying to place product and stuff so that's what I really enjoy I find that this product this brush BB 210 is great for inner corner I was not an inner corner girl um till I was like able to figure out how to use this brush and I am very happy that I have this brush for the lower lash line I either go on something like this or a shader brush that I don't have at the moment no and then maybe diffuse it with this or just go straight in with this one. Um, and I find that looks very, very nice to me. For, should we do liner or should we do mascara? Let's do liners. Um, I don't do a lot of like winged liner. <clears throat> it's not for me. I have played a little bit with um, cake liners and they're fun and everything. Um, this is like $30 and if you want to play with color I feel like this is a good deal with Termitas it's the pastel kid in this pastel um, palette for a black liner I have the wet and wild um breakup proof liner and I'm a big fan of it it has a pen um tip instead of a felt tip the only thing is that sometimes when you close this pen it can get the bristles stuck and then it kind of ruins the pencil um that's my only issue with it but it's only four bucks so I'm not too angry with that I have this e.l.f. liquid liner, this precision liquid eyeliner. I don't really like this liner compared to this one, but I do find if I do like a, maybe a bigger wing, this is nice to fill in the wing with. So I'll use this, um, but I don't know if I would really just buy this one by itself. I've been really liking this L'Oreal Lid Liner Signature. I don't think this is, is in, this, this is a noir cashmere. This is really nice. It is a roll up one. Is this roll up? Yes, this is roll up. I like this in the waterline. If I tight line, um, maybe I'll even put this on the top of my lid and smoke it out if I'm looking for a darker looking eye. Um, for a brown shadow, for a brown liner, I do have this Maybelline Tattoo Studio, which I do really like. It's kind of more of a reddish brown, I think I would say, but it's very nice. I like this as well. For another black liner, I do have the Fenty one and I do not like the Fenty one. I find that this is very dry and I'm very surprised because, yeah, it, that just broke apart. I'm not even going to try. I did have these two, or I still do have these two. I have the See All About It and See All About It? I don't even remember what those are called. Do they not have names? See About It and I think this is Navy or Dye. Yes, navy or dye, I feel like it's the one that has lasted the longest. The cobalt one, I find is a little dry. Let's see. I go very lightly because I feel like, and it takes a couple times to build that up. Which is a shame because I really did like this color. The navy one, I feel like is the, yeah, the navy one's probably the best because that, I don't know if you can tell, but this is just coming off the, pen so much better so those are those two um so while I do like I did like these um but I find that the formula is a little inconsistent this might just be old this is at least like a year two years a year or two old so maybe that's why I just dried up a little bit but I found that one kind of hard to do like an all over eye look but the uh, navy one works fine but just thought you should be aware Another high-end liner. I have this Marc Jacobs one. This Marc Jacobs one is okay. I kind of more use it as like I'll use the primer and then if I'm going with a color like this, the primer than this because I don't like this on my waterline. It's too close to white. It is a nice formula. It's very nice and creamy. Um, but in my waterline, it looks too much like white and I just feel like it looks, I don't like white in my waterline. I don't like bright in my waterline really unless I'm going super colorful. But even then, something like this that's so close to white, I just find doesn't look great in my waterline. I'm not a big white in the waterline. Cream in the waterline, I don't like that. That's just me, though. It's supposed to make your eyes look bigger. I don't find, I feel like it looks my, makes my eyes look weird. Okay, so for other colorful, more drugstore ones, the most affordable one, 
I have are these LA Liner Neon Shockwave. So I have this one, <clears throat> I'm sorry, in Vivid. Sorry, my hand is very stained right now. I wanted to try like a purpley purple or like a lavendery purple. This other neon one in, what is this called? Electric. That's like a more baby blue, would you say? Probably. And then I have these NYX Epic Liner, which I do really like and would maybe buy more of. Like, oh, that was really actually nice. That came on really cream. This is Berry or Not, this shade. Berry or Not? Berry Gaw, I'm sorry. And then this greenish metallic -y shade is also really nice. Very smooth as well. And I think this is called Olive. All Time Olive. And I'm a big fan. Those are really nice putting on my skin compared to that Fenty one that I think is probably dried out. Um, big fan of these. So if you want something more colorful, I recommend NYX or LA Girl. For high end, I don't really have a high end one to be honest. I think the L I've heard the LA Girl black one is also really good if you want something really affordable. I think these are like four or three dollars. This gets a little more expensive. It's like seven or eight. This was kind of pricey. I feel like these were both nine or eight. I could be wrong. And then these just let me down. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Fenty. You let me down. I might keep. Hmm. Should I put these? Am I like? I'll set these two aside and then figure them out later. Okay, okay, okay. Next up, we have one of these fell, so I don't know if I'll pick that up or just like tell you guys about it later. But for a, what is this called? Eyelash curler. I have found that my favorite eyelash curler are the really old ass ones that my mom has that are very dirty, gross, and should be like thrown out but I can't do that to myself because I just love those old ones. And when trying to buy new ones in the drugstore, I don't like them as much. I don't think they curl as much, but I heard good things about this Tweezerman one. So this is the Tweezerman one. And I really like it. Reminds me of my old ones. It comes with little extra things. I wonder if the other extra ones just work. I don't know exactly, but you know what I'm saying. Really like this, like having my own. So I'm not bothering my mom for her old ass one. I think you can get this fairly cheaper on Amazon if you want to get it because I feel like this can get pricey. Am I crazy about that? I know the tweezers are pricey, but we are an eyelash curler family. I've been looking at old, like videos of me recently. For some reason, it looks like my eyelashes aren't curled. They are curled. In the smear, it looks great. On video, it does not look good. I don't know why. Pictures, I can do great, good in, but for some reason, videos are not looking good. Anyway. The dog is might want to leave in a minute, but hold on. Um, mascara. So mascaras I currently have in my collection is this Maybelline Sky High. Love this. Gives me the length I love, but it is hard to remove. I will say that. I find that all of the mascaras I like are a little hard to remove, even if they're not the waterproof formula. So this is a little hard to remove. The Essence one, the green one that everyone talks about, hard to remove, I find. The Rare Beauty one I don't find as hard to remove, but this is more expensive. This is $20. Love this one. This is like a new Holy Grail. I, holy, what did I just say? Holy Grail? Oh my god, I'm going crazy. Um, This is great. I know people are like, you don't need um, high-end mascara. This is nice. Rare Beauty did that. Miss Gomez did that. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It's nice. I also have this Long Calm Monsieur Big. I think this is fine. I don't like it as much as the Fenty or the rare beauty one this is just okay to me um it's kind of sad because before this this one i really kind of like this one <laughs> but i don't like it as much anymore i also have this um level up lengthening mascara by ColourPop. i got it in the brown because i heard brown mascara is like kind of coming back i heard it looks nice on the lower lashes i don't love this i don't know how brown it really looks and What's the other problem with this? I'm trying to remember. Trans it, it, you get little speckles at the end of the night, which I'm not a fan of. So mm, I'm a little iffy about this. I will probably try to use it up or at least for the three months, you know, but yeah, I'm a little iffy about it. It is easy to take off. I will give it that. Well, that and it crumbles. Okay, anyway, um, what is next? Oh, 
eyebrows. I don't do a lot with my eyebrows. I don't know if you can tell. I think currently I have this in my eyebrows. It's the Jen Atkin Elf little comb thingy. This was supposed to help with like baby hairs, which is why I got it, but I don't find that it helps that much with baby hairs. And I didn't want to buy gel because I don't feel like I have, like I just have this one little area that I wanted to fix. My Holy Grail is the Essence one, which has fallen somewhere. And I do not want to crawl on the floor to go find it. So those are the two that I particularly love and like and would recommend to anyone. If you can do like a simple brow, like I have very fluffy brows. I don't have to do much with them. I don't do much with them. I don't like filling them in. I find that doesn't look good. Um, unless I'm like, no, I'm gonna take like a picture picture, picture pictures. I might slightly go in with a brown. Sorry, the dog's going a brown shadow, but otherwise, nah, I don't do much with them. Um, so that is all, right? Yes, that is all for today. The dog wants to be let out, so I have to go. Let me know what you thought. What other eye products do you use that are not eyeshadow related? Let me know, let me know, let me know. If you have eyeliner recommendations, let me know. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Happy Vlogmas. Thank you all for watching. Bye.